Good Saturday morning, everybody. On this July 13th, I'm Chris Allen right here at the Sam Channel. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Pretty good day yesterday. Very nice. We'll get another one today, but it's going to be a little more hot and humid, as you might expect. Uh, So if you're going to be outdoors doing stuff, Anytime this weekend, it is going to be a combination of heat and humidity with only a very, very small chance of getting a shower. Uh, We picked up some yesterday afternoon, and it was, you know, for a short time, a few of you were like, oh, this, this is nice. A good shower, good dump of rain, and a little lightning and thunder, gust of wind, and then it's over. And then the sun comes back out. Uh, if that happens today, again, it would be few and far between. Uh, there you see the Plano cam this morning showing a sunny sky here over Bowling Green at 7.05 Central Time on this July 13th. And as we look downtown from the AAA Systems Reservoir Hill camera, we're seeing the same thing. Lots of lush greenery, a little bit of patchy fog. That'll turn into a little bit of haze as we go through the day as high pressure will be sitting overhead and, of course, uh, bringing us the heat and humidity. Uh, And the heat and humidity is going to be pretty much relentless over the coming days. So uh, just prepare yourself for that. Here's the way it looks down Scottsville Road. And you see Scottsville Road on the left. You can see... uh, you know, restaurant row and all the way down to, uh, independence bank. That's the uh, clock tower that you see down there. Uh, and you can see that, uh, yeah, there's that haze and a little patchy fog this morning in a few areas. And some of you picked up some of that overnight. Uh, and, uh, that's going to continue to be, uh, an issue not only tonight, but also tomorrow. And especially in those areas that picked up rain. Now, if you note that camera, which is located at Wingate Hotel, I-65 and Scottsville Road, is looking pretty much west, northwest. Um, And that western side of town actually got a pretty good shot, actually some pretty good rain yesterday afternoon. And then it just kind of stopped as it moved closer to downtown. We didn't get a drop out at News 40. And we're pretty much right in the center of downtown. Uh, But we could see it on the cameras back to the west, and it was pouring. In fact, there was some heavy rain up in Beaver Dam, uh, even some street flooding that occurred there. Southern Ohio County went under a flood advisory for... um, a little time, uh, that was, that was kind of crazy. But, uh, anyway, you can see from the cameras, uh, it was just very hit and miss and wherever it rained, that is more likely, likely where you're going to see the fog this morning. Well, let's see if there's any rain out there right now. And there has been a few showers that tried to make a run at us a little bit earlier, uh, but they have since dissipated. So, uh, they've run into, a little bit more of a stable air mass that's over the area. Yes, it's humid, but it's, you know, pretty stable at the moment. Uh, These are the showers that were holding together at first, and now they're just falling apart as they run into that dome of high pressure, which is sitting now over the Cumberland Plateau. So it's almost like Pac-Man effect, you know. Uh, These showers run into it and just get eaten up. But then we see this bigger area of rain and thunderstorms. It's back into parts of central Missouri, uh, down into parts of uh, Kansas, and then uh, on down into northern Oklahoma. This is a pretty pretty wide complex of storms. Uh, should it hold together, it may try to throw out some boundaries. Uh, that could touch off a few isolated showers here this afternoon. But who gets it is the big question. It's just one of those situations where you get 
these impulses that build with the heat of the day and or from old boundaries left over from the day before and the moisture gets tapped into and you get some thunderstorms. But the thing is, it's not everybody gets in on that. Here you see some of the cloud cover. Here's Bowling Green. You know, we're under that dome of high pressure, so there's hardly any clouds around the area. The clouds associated back here with those showers are even breaking up back toward Paducah. But this is the bigger complex. Should it hold together, it may influence our weather later on. But for now, we're just going to say maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's just one of those. You get into this time of the year, and that's, that's kind of, it's kind of the way it is. Maybe, maybe not. Somebody down the road from you can get rained on while you get nothing and the sun stays out or you get a shower or thunderstorm and it, I mean, just pours on you. And then a few minutes later, the sun comes out. It's going to be like that. So even though there's not a big chance of rain in the forecast this weekend, really any place, any time, if it gets hot enough and the conditions are right and that moisture is tapped into or an old boundary comes in or something, then yes, you may end up with a shower or thunderstorm. So don't be surprised by that. This is summer. That's pretty typical summer stuff. So let's check uh, temperatures now from the Kentucky Mesonet Network on this Saturday morning. Lots of 70s, a few upper 60s here and there. But, uh, yeah, the moisture is here. Dew points in the 70s, a few upper 60s. But it's going to be this way all weekend. Um, as far as rainfall, let's see what happened yesterday. So, even though there was a flood advisory for Southern Ohio County yesterday, and the uh, there was you know supposed to be an outdoor concert in Beaver Dam, and it got flooded out. Notice here zero, zero. And you say, wait a minute, how can that be? Well, this particular sensor, if you look over here, is located three miles east of Hartford. Well, Beaver Dam is south of Hartford and at Beaver Dam that's where they picked up that very heavy rainfall in our Doppler radar estimate I can remember this from last night when I was on News 40 uh, was picking up a little bit over two inches of rain so the rain missed the sensor that is in Hartford because all the rain was in Beaver Dam and the southern tail end of Ohio County. And there was some other rain right here in Muhlenberg and Butler counties. Let's see if we can go back even more. Yeah, okay, let's go 48 hours. Yeah, it still doesn't help very much. That's picking up on whatever fell the day before. So that's why it's showing nothing there for those locations. Winds, light and variable this morning and that makes it even stickier yeah not much of a breeze out there at all this morning and uh the only time you're really going to pick up a breeze is if you get a thunderstorm and the collapsing of the thunderstorms when they collapse all that rain and wind comes down out of the cloud and then it hits the ground and spreads out and when that happens you can get a just from the rush of the cooler air from the rain uh, you can get, uh, you know, gusty winds. And so it is a possibility, but as far as sustained winds being, you know, a certain, uh, miles per hour, I, it's just not going to be, it's going to be one of those hot, sticky days and you're not going to get much, if any relief. Again, these would be surprise storms that just kind of form with the heat of the afternoon if they happen. Here's a look at the model blender, heat, 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 each and every day, heat and humidity, mid to upper 90s with the heat index well over 100 all the way through the weekend and the beginning of next week. 
then we're still looking at most of the models, good model consensus on a good looking cold front coming in Tuesday night into Wednesday, bringing us a good chance of rain and cooling us down by several degrees, maybe even close to 10 degrees for some of you, you'll, you'll notice that big drop off, but look at Thursday, only 84. I mean, I think it could even go 82, 83 for Thursday, then mid eighties, upper eighties. And we kind of get back to 90, but that's where we should be for this time of the year. Average high is 90. By the way, we hit 93 yesterday, uh, three degrees above the average. So, you know, somewhere in there is where it's going to end up anyway. Uh, unless there's a good system coming in and we do have one, as I showed you on Wednesday. All right, let's go to the maps and you can see some of that patchy fog that's showing up here on the maps this morning, but high pressure, this right here in control. Here's our upper wave that I showed you on radar. That's holding together pretty good south of Kansas city down to Joplin, Springfield, Wichita, uh, Will it hold together? That's the thing. This high pressure is stronger than this. So again, that Pac-Man effect, this is, uh, this is the lead uh, chomper, if you will, <laughs> it starts to eat away at some of this that comes in. You can watch it kind of happen right there. Here's, uh, this afternoon into this evening. Yep. After dark, it all fades away anyway, because it has, that's that it, Darkness negates the strength and the fuel supply, if you will, for those impulses and those storms. So after dark, no daytime heating, no storms. They all fall apart, under the, especially under this dome of high pressure. So here we go into tomorrow morning. Everything looks good. There could be some patchy fog again tomorrow morning. Here we go into Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, no, I'm sorry. That's still Monday, Tuesday. There we go. I thought, why are what? It's not showing rain on Tuesday. Then I looked down. I saw that I was on the wrong day, but anyway, you get the idea all the weekend rain free, except for those surprise storms, little pop-ups like we've seen the last couple of days, if you get one, but more likely Tuesday afternoon and evening into Wednesday. Now this is when we really tap into available moisture and we could get a good soaking rain out of this thunderstorms. Yes, but I don't see severe weather. This would just be a rainy storm for Wednesday. Here we go into Thursday. It starts to move away into Friday Eh, still a scant chance left over. Uh, and that's it next Friday. That's as far as we can show you. So yeah, into the middle of next week, into next weekend, better rain chances and all of that is going to cool us down. It didn't have the cold front painted in there on those graphics, but it's there. It'll be there. And it's a significant front. I mean, it, it may stir up something, but I think it's going to be more of a rain producing front then it will be a severe uh producing front all right uh good morning Letitia let's see Ellen Teresa Doc uh yeah Doc says we watched the storms west of us yesterday fall apart as they approach yep that was pretty much the way it was here in uh downtown Bowling Green a pop-up would be a would be appreciative for late plantings. Yes, it would. <laughs> Cause I'm getting tired of having to go out and water the plants, but yeah, it's what you have to do if you want to keep them. All right, you guys enjoy your weekend. Have a great Saturday. I'll see you here tomorrow morning with a fresh update. Thanks for watching and God bless.